I was driving back from a friend's house out in Bastrop. We had been burning cedar trees all day. And I was coming home to go out to eat with Ginger and the boys. Next thing I know, the car was spinning <laughs> in circles, and I ended up hitting a tree. And that's what pinned me into the car and crushed my legs. Well, they had to amputate my left leg, and they stitched up the right leg, because it was pretty chopped up, too. Five surgeries, 14, 15 days in the hospital, and then six or seven more in rehab after that. Golfing was the first thing I thought about. It was like, oh my, how am I going to play golf again? You know, and then you go, then it goes through. You know, what? You know, I'm not going to be able to do this with my kids. I'm not going to be able to run, you know, or jump. It's kind of like walking on stilts. If you ever walked on stilts before, at first it was I wouldn't put any weight on it. You know, I would barely put any weight on it. And then over time, you get used to it, and your leg gets used to it more and doesn't hurt as much. I was supposed to check out of the rehab hospital in the morning. They said they had someone coming in with some new exercise equipment and they wanted me to demonstrate it for them. You know, I'm in my wheelchair at that point in time. So it was a lot of disbelief, you know, when he, especially when he said you're gonna do some, you know, sets of 10 pull-ups. I was like, no, you know, maybe one pull-up, you know, <laughs> and then that's it. The more it went on, the more we kept doing the exercises, the cooler it got. I think I was supposed to stand in September and we were standing in the end of July. So, I mean, every, every little milestone like that has been way, has been moved forward. That's the best thing about Primal is the fact that it balances me, you know, because a lot of the time I, I wouldn't be able to do an exercise if I couldn't balance, you know. It gives me a peace of mind too, you know, and that I can do squats, you know, I can get myself back up off the ground, you know, if I fall. I think it helps the pain more, you know, movement helps the pain like well, most of the phantom pain comes when I'm just when I've laid around all day and done nothing you know then it starts to tingle and and then if I get up and move or exercise it usually goes away you know, thank goodness for this product you know, you know thank goodness I got introduced to this <laughs>